But first, this week, President Biden gave a speech at Fern Hollow Bridge in Pittsburgh and again showed America and indeed the world that he is a man who knows what he's doing. Over a billion, two hundred, a trillion, two hundred billion dollars. A billion, two hundred billion, a trillion, no one's quite sure what he meant. But, you know, I'm sure that was the only muddled part of the speech. The rest was crystal clear. And, Bobby, I promised you, he'd been on my back to get this done for since I got elected president. Don't forget the lock, John. So I just think, <laughs> I'm not sure how we're going to do this, but so long as I, I, I couldn't say no. I don't know what he means, but he wasn't done there. Then the president made this incredible claim. My grandfather, Finney Grimscrant, would really be proud of me right now. No, I'm not joking, he would. By the way, he's an All-American football player, John, in Santa Clara. No, he wasn't an All-American football player. When Joe <laughs> says, I'm not joking, he means I'm lying. There are many, many examples of those words being uttered by the president at the end of a verifiable lie. And it wouldn't be a Joe Biden speech without a confused walk-off. Oh dear. Pretty much elder abuse at this point. We shouldn't laugh. And here's a little breaking news for you. While that intellectually inept president is in the White House, the US has lost complete control of its southern border. Latest stats reveal that last month more than 227,000 illegal immigrants were encountered at the border. That's close to four times. That's close to 400% increase from the average number of September encounters when Donald Trump was in the White House. So far this fiscal year, there have been over 2.3 million encounters at the border. And that, of course, does not include all the illegal immigrants who cross without being apprehended. Can you believe that? 2.3 million.